Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through another example in Tableau. This is coming from the Learning Tableau 10 textbook, and I am going to be on, or at least starting on page 29 with field maps, F-I-L-L-E-D, field maps. And uh, with field maps, as the name implies, they say, makes use of field areas such as country, state, county, or zip code to show the location. The, the color that fills the area can be used to encode values of measures or dimensions. So we're going to work on a very, very simple one today. And that is just using the U.S. map because you have that kind of data. Uh, obviously, in one of the columns, dealt, you know, saying which state the sales are from. So we're just going to go in, into our basic, you know, first screen you see in Tableau. It's the screen we're going to bring in our file that we need. I'm going to hit text file. This is the Superstore file that the textbooks textbook uses so there it is let me open Superstore up now this is the data source view if you look at the bottom left corner it says data source there's all your columns and rows looks a lot like an Excel sheet or an access sheet very flat table and we're going to let Tableau take this information and plot this into a nice US map okay so let's go into sheet one and uh, very simply, we've got it obviously in the data tab. We've got dimensions and we've got measures. And to start building this, we're going to go into dimensions and then we're going to go to find state. So there's state. I'm going to double click on state and let Tableau bring up the U.S. map. Now this is the lo lower 48 states. It's not going to have Hawaii on it. It's not going to have Alaska on it, mainly because we do not have any data in the database that's from Alaska or Hawaii. And obviously we don't have any Canadian data or uh, data from Mexico. So that's why we're just working with the lower 48 states here. Now, that's the states. Now we want to overlay the sales information for each state. So we're just going to go to sales. And um, with the sales, we are going to drop that on the color shelf. Now let's talk about that. We have our marks area here. In marks, you have color and size. We use those two a lot. Um, we already, you know, state already kind of shows up in there uh, because we double clicked on it and it landed there in marks. But let's go get sales. Sales is in measures because it is a measure. And we're just going to grab that and drive that up to color. We call it the color shelf. We're not going to drop that right on the color shelf. Get you know, give um, Tableau a, few, a minute to layer that on there, and um, and you can see real quick. And it just depends too. You know what color range um, you want to you want it to have. We've got dark blue being um, the higher cells than the lesser shades of blue. So right off the bat, you can see you know, California, Texas. And if you drive over, you can actually see which state, obviously, but then what the actual sales amount is for that state. So there's California's information, and there's, there's Texas information, obviously, 998,000, 975,000, so those are very close. Um, we actually have another dark blue state, and that is actually Massachusetts. So, um, and it's actually got the most amount of sales, over a million. And that's one thing that I think is that's not good about this type of um, map overlay is because when you have a state that's geographically large, it tends to give you the impression that it had the most sales. I mean, California and Texas geographically are huge states. Um, however, this is a good example of how it's actually Massachusetts, the tiny little state that you know has the most in sales. So don't let the geographic size of the state um, fool you or whoever's looking at this uh, to make th make it think that they have the larger um, sales so that's very simple how you handle it um, with Tableau now if you didn't like your color scheme like you wanted some other colors to say well you know this is you know different if you want reds and oranges and all this stuff you can go into color and you can go into edit colors and you can you know change it just automatic comes up I mean it just went from the you know very light light bluish green all the way to the um, darkest of blues there 
um, but you have lots and lots of choices on color. Um, you've got, you know, orange and blue diverging, red, green. Some people like red and green just because, you know, red means stop and green means go, basically. Uh, if we changed it to that, apply that, um, do that, you can see, you know, green is really good and um, reds uh, are not so good. So, uh, but you can still see Massachusetts is up there, you know, with the best in sales. All right, so if we change it back, we'll just go back to edit colors in the color shelf and simply change it back to um, automatic, which I don't see on there now. Let me scroll back up, I'm not all the way up yet. There we go. And there's automatic if you want to go back to its default shades. There we go. All right, so I hope that uh, this short video will help you learn how to appropriately use field maps or Tableau. Thank you for your time.